Hi guys. So we're having some cousins come to town and stay at our house, but they are allergic to cats. So I decided that I would take the weekend to go visit my friends and take my cats with me. So uh, I'm going to be driving very carefully because um, I'm going to be letting them free range the car because as you can see, they are very upset and I am an excellent driver. And if someone else crashes into us, then all of us would die uh, regardless if they were in their harnesses or not. So I'm going to let them out. I had a very fun filled day and I've had a very jam packed day and so I just thought that I would do a little experiment and film a road trip. So we're gonna have loads of fun, kids. You know it. Alrighty, here's a good spot to pull over. Let's do this. Come on, Krista. Yeah, this is the most talkative that she ever gets is in the car. Come on, Krista. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, sure. There's going to be an abundance of cat hair in this video. You can feel it. <sighs> Dude, get off my ass. Fucker. Traffic should not be a thing. I know that obviously traffic is a thing because some people are assholes and do things that cause traffic to happen. I know that it has to do with like a certain amount of cars that are on the road or something. I mean, I'm not even gonna pretend like I know anything about the science of traffic, but it's like, if we all could just get our heads out of our asses and fucking go, this shouldn't be a thing. But it is a thing. I don't know. Am I a complete idiot? Probably. What is the deal with airline food? Now, what is the deal with assholes on the road? I mean, I know that in order to be an asshole anywhere, you have to inherently be an asshole, but I know people that it just like driving brings out the worst in them. Like somehow having to interact in some small way with the rest of society it's just like the fuck like it just brings out the worst it's interesting to think that everyone on the road has been that asshole to someone whether they like meant to do something asshole or not it's like if you've driven you have accidentally cut someone off before oh krista you may sit on my lap but you may not go down by the pedals she thinks that if she is insistent that it will work. But it will not. Yeah, but it will not. Yeah. I think um, I'm gonna go to Evangeline's this weekend, uh, which is in old Sacramento, and try to look for a wig. Um, oh, because for those of you that are not following me on Twitter, um, I am going to be Princess Jasmine this Halloween. <gasps> Taco Bell! This is not sponsored or anything, I just happen to really love Taco Bell. Taco Bell is nothing without Baja Blast though. Taco Bell without Baja Blast is just Del Taco. You know, I was talking about assholes earlier. You know who's the worst kind of asshole? The one that you, when you're merging and you have your blinker on and you're trying to get over, and then they're like a good distance behind you, but then they see that you're trying to come over, and so then they speed up and stay in your blind spot or pass you. It's like, dude, you, you have no excuse. So I hope you guys enjoyed this experimental little video. Uh, this is essentially what it's like to be on a road trip with me. Let me know if you have any interest in seeing a video about my Halloween endeavors like if like a, it'd sort of be like an on-the-go vlog thing but um yeah let me know if you'd be interested in seeing that be sure to subscribe please I love you all and I will see you next week Mwah.